Hello everyone, welcome back. I am Viknesh and in this video, we are going to discuss how to prepare and appear for Google Cloud Professional Cloud Database Engineer. So as part of this video, I will let you know what are the important links and we will be discussing about the exam overview, what are the important topics, which topic you need to spend more time like understanding it end to end and implementing it in practical as well. And also I will be explaining you what is the course which I referred for this particular certification and how that course helped me like basically we will go through the course and also some practice questions and followed by the documentations as well and finally i'll explain you about the certification exam so how how long the certification exam was what is the maximum questions you can expect and how to register for it all those details you will be able to find in this particular video and without any further delay let's get started so all the links everything you will be able to find in the description section of this particular video so first i'll explain you what is this certification is about professional cloud database engineer so for this in order to take this certification you should have at least two years of google cloud experience and five years of overall database and it experience so this particular certification it is going to test your knowledge mostly on the database point of view like what are the different databases available inside google cloud and i'll let you know what are the services which you need to concentrate as well so the professional cloud database engineer designs creates manage and troubleshoots google cloud databases used by applications to store and retrieve data so this certification is mainly based on google cloud databases and here you can see exam access your ability on design scalable and highly available cloud database solutions migrate data solutions migrate solution that can span multiple database locations deploy scalable and highly available databases so now i'll explain you what are the different databases so this is the link which will talk about all the databases in this google cloud certification like alloydb for postgresql cloud bigtable cloud spanner cloud sql and mysql postgresql sql server which was nothing but the uh, relational databases in google cloud and database migration service and now non sql databases that is no sql databases one is cloud bigtable which is very important data store firestore Fire, firebase real time database data stream memory store for memcache redis and this is also for redis cluster only apart from this you will be asked questions on this particular services as well like under compute you have to go through this bare metal solution and compute engine bare metal solution is nothing for oracle workload so if your on premise is an oracle then you will be using this bare metal solution so you have to concentrate on this bare metal solution and compute engine now i wanted to explain you what are the important services so this i wanted to share you my experience while i was giving the exam i found lot of questions like around 70 to 80 percent of questions i got from cloud big table cloud spanner cloud sql that is mysql postgres sql sql server database migration service this is something which which is very important i got around six to eight questions on this database migration service and few questions on data store fire store and memory store for memcache redis and uh, uh, redis cluster so up uh, and also like this topic which i said right like bare metal solution and compute engine like out of this i got around four to five questions on this bare metal solution so these are the services which you need to give more importance so enough of the services in google cloud databases now we will get into the guidelines of this particular certification so section one design scalable and highly available cloud database solutions so under this section we will be discussing about what is the disk like ssd when to use ssd when to use hdd and what's different machine configuration machine types you have to use for which particular scenario which we need to understand like for which particular for which scenario we need to understand which database to use when to use cloud sql postgres sql mysql and also like multi region region and zonal capacities along with that you have to understand how you will be authenticating like cloud sql auth proxy cmek ssl certificates understanding difference between the sql and no sql databases and uh, also to talk about or to understand about the self managed bare metal servers like for oracle workload you have to use this bare metal and you will get a good amount of questions on that and the next section deals about manager solution that can span multiple database solutions so here you have to understand um like iam when to what type of role what type of uh, permissions we have to give to a user and also how to invest invest about the ram cpu storage 
uh, logging monitoring if there if there is a query which is performing which is not performing well how to debug it and how to improve the performance so those details you will be able to understand in this particular section and the third section like migrate database solutions under this like database migration service that is something which is very important you have to understand in depth like and this also talks about like uh, strategies migration strategies plans like zero downtime near zero downtime extended outage and for and uh, fallback plans so those things you will be able to understand like you have to more concentrate on the database migration service and the final section is deploy scalable and highly available databases so this is where you will understand when to use cloud sql when to use postgres mysql when to go with cloud spanner when to go with cloud big table firebase firestore so those details you will be able to see apart from that like read replicas write replicas you will be able to understand those details like high availability scalability so typical database concepts you will be able to see it and 10 percentage you will be able to expect from this particular section so you have to give more importance to this section one where you will be able to understand the different sql no sql databases scalability availability configurations of machines when to go with ssd when to go with sdd uh, how to give access like cloud sql auth proxy cmek so customer managed encryption c so those details on all you will be able to see that in detail so give more importance to this and as i mentioned this the database services big table cloud spanner cloud sql for postgres sql so now i'll talk about the certification exam so the length of this particular certification exam is for two hours that is 120 minutes and registration fee is 200 dollars plus taxes as well and the language like you can go with english and there are other languages as well typically i went with language and exam format 50 to 60 multiple choice and multiple select questions for me i got 50 questions exactly 50 questions and everything is a multiple choice and multi selects like two questions you can select two answers three answers so that is where the case also and the next is exam delivery method so basically there are two ways one is the online proctor exam and the testing center and this is applicable for all the cloud certification exams like azure aws snowflake gcp and other exams as well so i went with online proctored exam and i scheduled the exam at 8 am and i logged in at 7 50 am itself i logged in and i gave my uh, passport details for verification so those details and all it happened and once everything went well like they released and uh, i was about to take my exam so as i mentioned like out of 50 questions like 35 questions it was very easy like it was not uh, confusing also the answer was very straightforward but rest 15 questions like out of that 15 questions i still remember like 10 8 to 10 questions right like it was like either a or b either b or c it was very close and it was like that is what tough i guess for this exam so that's it about this certification exam now i'll talk about the uh, course which i used so the course which i used for the preparation of this exam is this database engineer learning path and uh, i've been using this portal and i've been using this for last three years so uh, the tools of google cloud and so on this is something which is the first section and two like this two course is something which is generic you'll be able to find across all the certifications even for associate also you'll be able to find it and enterprise data migrations so migrate mysql database postgresql and cloud spanner like this postgresql you have to be more uh, um, give more attention to it because i got a lot of questions on postgresql apart from mysql and cloud spanner like i got more questions on postgresql and all IDB database and also like manage big table those things also like typically there were questions around this but PostgreSQL is something which I clearly remember I got a lot of questions so the next thing is I wanted to explain you like talk about the sample questions the sample questions is provided by Google Cloud itself uh, there is around 20 21 questions out of this 20 21 questions I got like around five to seven questions in the exam itself So it was it helped me a lot to understand the topics of cloud database engineers as well So all the links everything is documented here and I'll be sharing it with you from my personal experience Like I didn't spend a lot of time with this particular certification because I've been working on Google Cloud for last three years and also uh, the whatever the services you mentioned it like I did hands on and I have real-time experiences as well So that helped me a lot and comparatively with architect and data engineering certification this was intermediate it was easy only it, you don't need to spend a lot of time on all it was easy you have to understand few things and you will be able to crack it out so that's it for this video i hope you got good knowledge on how to prepare for this particular certification exam if you have any questions please reach out to me i'll be able to help you as much as i can and please do like comment share and subscribe to cloud and ai analytics and don't forget to click on the bell icon. So that's it. In the next video, I'll be seeing you with interesting content from Google Cloud. I'll see you there. Happy learning.